Good morning, Hero Wars fans. Viewers have told me that they are no longer able to beat Seymour with the team formation they used to be able to win with. I'm not sure about Seymour, since I haven't beaten him yet, but in Hero Wars, it's rare that enemies in campaign maps and pet adventures become stronger than before. For example, if a new hero is born, a new hero will appear in the pet's adventure, and naturally the strength of the enemies will change along with it. Well, today I chose map 11 for my pet's adventure. The criteria for being able to play map 11 in pet adventure is to have an overall strength of 450,000 or higher. My main team's current overall strength is over 700,000, so I rarely stumble on map 11, but somehow today I lost on this part of map 11. Whoa, what do you mean, zero points? And the enemy's level is only 126. I never imagined that I would lose in such a place. Since I had skipped the battle scenes and was playing the pet adventure, I decided to open the log screen and then review the actual battle scenes. Hmm, so Elmir is the tank, and Arachne and Pepe are there too. With such a team composition of the enemy, the reason for this defeat was probably due to the influence of Arachne's skills. Arachne's skills 1 and 2 will stun enemies. Furthermore, Pepe's skills 1 and 3 also stun enemies, which means I succumb to the stun attacks of Arachne and Pepe. Wow! It's interesting to see a team so focused on stunning the enemy. So, I was curious to see what would happen if I fought with my power maxed out, so I immediately tried fighting an enemy from the same team in Pet Adventure with my power maxed out. In the end, my team won, but I feel that with a little more use of Arachne and Pepe's stun kills, we could have a very formidable team composition. If we incorporate Leon, who has a passive skill number 4 that stuns enemies, in place of Celeste, wouldn't this team composition be even stronger? With that in mind, I swapped Celeste for Leon in my team composition and maximum power, and my team easily lost to the Elmir tank because the heroes in my team composition were always stunned. Ha! I think I found an interesting team composition this time, a stunned team of Elmir, Arachne, Leon, Pepe, and Martha. Perhaps if you set the team pet to Mar in this team formation, you will have a stronger team. This is because Mara can deal triple damage to blinded or stunned enemies, or bring charmed enemies into combat as allies. As you can see, there are more and more opportunities for previously unused heroes to play an active role in the recent Hero Wars, so it's fun to look for different combinations of heroes. I would like to encourage all viewers to try this stun team. I'll wrap up the conversation. In some places in your pet's adventure, the damage of physical attacks against enemies is cut by as much as 80% or 90%. So, when playing Pet Adventure, you need to look carefully at the information about the enemy team's buffs before you fight. For your information, Sebastian is the only hero who can be effective against Leon and Arachne's stun attack. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.